Hey, so Waze Cam's notification system is pretty amazing how quick it is and you can do it with motion and sound and other smoke and CO2. But the thing is, is when you're home, it kind of gets annoying when you're working outside and it's saying, hey, there's motion outside. Well, duh, I'm, it's me. Let's show you how to fix that. Let's make smart home tech simple to enjoy and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell next to it so you don't miss that next video. Hey you wonderful people, welcome to the Gross Tech Show. My name is Josh and in today's video I want to show you the issue that I have with these Waze Cam app. Really, it's not really with the camera, it's with the app. With how the motion and sound and detection and notification happens is, well, it's a little annoying because it does it while you're at home and does it when it's you. Now, I understand you can set this up to be a certain time only or all day or have it only at certain times of the day and I and that will work great if, you know, you're gone at this time to this time and it only is on at that time, but Sometimes you have to leave. Sometimes you come home early. Sometimes you are your schedule's different. So to be able to change that is something that would be amazing to do. And you can actually do it. So what I'm talking about is you can actually use your phone as the trigger. So basically what we'll do is we will use IFTTT, if this, then that, to make a trigger to where if my phone is here on the Wi-Fi at home, turn motion and notifications off. When my phone leaves the Wi-Fi or the certain area, geofence of where my phone is, then turn it on, which will be amazing when you have a different schedule every day and you can't always have the motion and sound detection on at a specific time. So let me show you how to do it. Okay, so go ahead and go into your mobile device Go and download, if you haven't already, the IFTTT app. Go ahead, sign up for it, and then you will go to My Applets. Go to the plus sign, and we're going to do If This. And what this is, is going to be Location. It's part of your the popular ones. We'll do Location, and we'll do it when you exit an area. Create Trigger. Then that, and what that is going to be, is going to be Waze Cam. So we will type in Waze Cam, and we will enable motion detection. All right, and so once you have connected your Waze Cam account to If This Then That, you will actually see your different cameras that you can choose, which is nice because if you have multiple ones, you can make it be different triggers. We will have it be the front door, create action, and there you have it. If you exit an area, then motion detection is enabled on front door. That's what I called my camera. So now it will not be on if I'm here at home and then when I leave, it turns on, which is pretty awesome. And you can do the same thing. Just when you come back, you can turn it off. So that way it's not giving you triggers when you're home. Now, if you do have it at your front door and you want to be able to know, say, if a package is there in your home, then you won't do this. But this is an easy and simple way to be able to have it on when you want it and off when you don't want it. And it's all based on where your phone is located. So if you have multiple people, make sure you set that up for each phone. So it's a simple and easy little thing to do. All you have to do, like I said, is use if this, then that and follow what I did. Thank you so much for watching the episode. My name is Josh, and this has been The Gross Tech Show. God bless you guys. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and the notification bell and all that other stuff. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.